It's just the guy, the boys, just Carl and Bear, sitting at home, sitting at home, not wasting time, making the most of our day. Hey, definitely not wasting any time. Trust me, they don't want to know. I could go full beast mode. You really need some help. I really know myself. My happiness is sacred and I stay on that pursuit. Yeah, that's me. Just me. It's me. That's all I be. That's what I am. That's what I am. That's what I am. Hang on, just... Okay, found me. Yes. Yes. Okay. What's going on? Welcome back. <coughs> no. Nailed it. What's going on? Welcome back to the vlog. It's 2018, and today is the best day ever. And I'm going to tell you why today is the best day ever. Well, a couple reasons. Um, uh, it's one day... One day closer to the arrival of Lincoln. Baby, hashtag Baby Lincoln 2018. And um, I wanted to show you... One of the things that we got for Christmas, I just had to look for it. There's little monkey pajamas. It's got, it's got a little monkey on it, and then it's got little stars. Anyway, I was just looking for that. Also, today is the best day ever. I'm, I'm trying to practice on that gratitude, getting on that gratitude train of just accepting what I can accept and um, being grateful for things that are going well and the small things. It's great. I'm grateful today that that I'm in my house. That's warm. It, it's warm here. I don't know if you can see Bear down there just chilling. It's his new spot. It's very warm in here. And I'm telling you right now, it's like, it, it was this morning it was negative nine degrees. I threw a picture up on Instagram um, of that as, as proof. It was negative nine. Negative nine. Who? Ha, ha, why? There is no, there is no reason for it to ever be that cold. <laughs> Mr. White Christmas, I'm Mr. Snow. Bear, why is it so cold? Keep me warm. Keep me warm, please. There, no reason. At, no, just none. Where are you going? You're supposed to keep me warm. Oh, I see how it is. I'm just gonna lay on that music blanket all day. Okay. Yeah, so even with it being so cold today, I did muster up every ounce of energy that I have and willpower. And I, I did go, I decided since tomorrow is the first day of school back from Christmas break, I should get to school and take care of some important stuff. Bro, James. <sighs> Hello, it's me, Han Solo. What seems to be the problem? Oh no, Demogorgon's trying to get me. Oh no. I'll get, I'll take care of this. Yeah, I'm all ready for the school year, for the second half of the school year. I know it's not the second half, really, the second half, but got everything straightened up, feeling good to go. Definitely didn't waste any time today. Nick and Becca, our friends are coming over, and we're having supper with them. It's been a while since they've been on the show. Show? It's been a while since they've been on the vlog, and uh, basically we just have supper with them every Tuesday. We alternate, they have us over, we have them over, and uh, it, it, it's a nice thing to look forward to. Hello, and welcome to another segment of Cooking with Kyle. So today, bringing you my almost famous black bean burgers. Okay, they're, they're so, like it's, it's strange how easy they are, and you just don't think about it, but I have a theory that if you put anything and put it into a patty form and put it on a bun with condiments, it's gonna taste like a burger. So that's my theory, but I get a little bit I look at a little bit, a uh, little bit into making my burger, so I'm gonna show you how I do that. But before I, I get into cooking with Kyle for today, I, I do want to show you something. I'm really excited about this. One of our Christmas gifts. Um, it's so awesome. We got a new food processor as a Christmas gift, and it does spiraling, so we can make zoodles. Yeah, you heard me, zoodles. So we, last night I got a little bit of carried away with it, um, trying it out for the first time. <laughs> It makes spaghetti from squash. But basically we just, it, it, it turned, it spirals anything that you put into it into like a spaghetti form. So we just had zucchini spaghetti. And it was freaking awesome. It was like, it was like if, if Jesus of Nazareth didn't, wasn't a carpenter, but he was a zoodle maker. 
and he made zoodles. That's how good these zoodles were last night. Let's time to make black bean burgers. Chicken burgers for you and me. Chicken burgers for my family. Just some peppers. Onion. That never gets old. It's so fun just chopping everything. Getting my anger, getting my rage out. <laughs> Chop. Get a little oil to saute my veggies. Sauteing is fun. Spices are up here. This is all my spices. And so, I was a chronic spice overbuyer, which by that I mean every time I needed a recipe or every time I tried a new recipe or anything, I'll go, oh, I need cumin, so I better get some. And I ended up buying way too many spices. I always had extra, so I had to write myself a little note. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it says, stop buying spices up here. So to, always, to always remind myself that I probably have the spices that I need. So you definitely, definitely, definitely want to drain the black beans before you. Yeah, you don't want to have all the. You don't want them to have that juice on it. So I got my drainer. Just, just take your drained beans and put them in your bowl, yeah. And then the best part. The best part of all. You take. Your, I just use my hands. I just mash them up real good. Just ma Just mash them. Mash. Mash. You mash them up until they're all mashy, I guess is the word you could use. Okay, so now you got your mashed up black beans and you got your sauteed peppers and onions. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put the peppers and onions in, this drops some, oh no. Peppers and onions in with the black beans and you're gonna mix it all together. And then you're gonna add some flour. Just, I just eyeball it, like everything. I'm an eyeball type of person. All right, stir your mix together. For your spices, you definitely want a butt ton of garlic. If you're not exactly sure how much a butt ton is, go ahead and Google it. Some chili powder, some seasoned salt, some seasoned salt, some nutritional yeast. That doesn't sound very good, but it is, trust me. Add your flour, again, eyeballing it. That's the thing way. Things don't use measuring cups. I think Kristen's home. Yay, Kristen's hey, home. What you got there? So, got ketchup and beans, and I also picked up a refried beans for later. Yay, yeah, refried beans for later. I'm not sure what it's for, but it's for later. It's for, yeah, you never know. We you just... never know when you need refried. You never know when you, I'll put it in like a little emergency glass thing, like break if emergency. Psh, refried beans, hurry. If we're in the, we you know, like, we can always make tacos and something, something like quick then. Yes. Anyway, I'm doing cooking with Kyle, and I'm making the black bean burgers. And so now I have to just cook them in this and put the fries together. You know what kind of fries we have, right? The crispy seasoned fries. The crispy seasoned curly fries. Okay. So final step is you got this big old what, what bean is ball, if you will, and oh. you just got to break it off into patties and cook it. So I just grab, grab about a handful here, and I form it into a patty, like so. These bad boys looking done, let's look at it. See them? Ooh. It almost looks like, like meat, you know? Mm. But it's not, it's beans. It is. Yay. Mm. So there, there you have it. You just wait till they're brown just like that, you slap them on a bun, some pickles, and you're good to go. Don't. Really making me nervous over there. I know. Really making me nervous. Don't forget the pickles. Don't forget the pickles. How's Lincoln doing today? Good. Active. Yeah. Yes. I felt. I've noticed that I feel him mostly here and here. Mm-hmm. Sometimes down here, and every once in a while, really up high like here. <laughs> Yesterday he was kicking like crazy, yeah. but I kept Kristen kept I kept rushing over to see if I could feel him. Not yet, but it's getting close. I can feel him from the outside sometimes. Yeah, so I'm gonna. I think the first time I'll be able to do that, I'll be like, it'll be really crazy to think about. What someone told me is, or my mom told me, is that sometimes as you get further along, sometimes you can see like a handprint. Oh, <laughs> like it's crazy. That's creepy. Spirit, it's okay. Yay! Oh, 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 yeah. Gloves and scarf and everything. <laughs> we are already two hours late for tomorrow, aren't we, you guys? I don't school yet. Oh. <laughs> Still a break. Oh, no. Sean. Oh, no.
Anyways, we're having Kyle's almost famous black bean burger and curly fries. <laughs> there. You have to get off the table. We have to eat. Oh, yeah. So much wine. <laughs> oh, I'm never gonna turn that down. Never gonna. You never turn down wine ever. Oh, come on. And then they, um, the placenta or the um, cleans the urine and, and uh, purifies it, and they drink it. Oh. Anyway. Earth cleans. <laughs> We're showing the pictures of Lincoln. I mean, Lincoln. they do say yeah. that your urine is clean. Right. Unless there's something <laughs> really wrong. This is, this is what we taken out. This clip can be taken out of context in months. It's got to be, yeah, he's, yeah. We have to warn everybody that they look for the role, but there is a, there is a, there's a nude image in there. kind of like hanging I mean, it doesn't really even, yeah. Okay, it's been so long since we've done this. You probably don't even, some of you probably don't even know about this. But it's what two or three of you have been waiting for for a really long time. It's Mr. Peace for Terrible Joke of the Week. I'm back! <laughs> I, I love... I love the love I get from this room. It's not It's not happy smiles, it's glares. Mostly glares. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I just saw a duck wander by. I know it's cold out there, but I just saw a duck wander by without his underwear. I saw his butt quack. Oh. Boo! <laughs> yes, you can expect more comedic things like this every Tuesday. I guess Wednesday for, for you because it goes live. All right, bye, the peck and paws. See you later. Okay, we're going to use what little light there left is in this earth for us right now. I'm so, good. so glad it's I don't so dark. Alaska. Eternal darkness. Okay, so, um, well. Along with our 2018 themes of making every day the best day ever, because today is the best day ever, mm -hmm. um, we, Kristen had something that someone told you, so you said something, someone told you something pretty cool today? I what? did. So, as you can see, I am becoming more and more visible, visibly pregnant, and so, and I've been very excited about it, sharing about it, so my coworkers know about it. One of them that I don't see very often had the biggest smile on her face and said, oh, you look awesome. And that was really nice, first of all. Great way to start a conversation for a pregnant woman, just in case you don't know. <laughs> um, and then she and she had said to me, like, how are you feeling? I'm like, you know, I'm actually feeling really great. Told her a little bit about it. And she's like, you know, I know it's so easy to get so excited for that little one to get here. But really take time and enjoy this because, you know, this is a one in a once in a lifetime opportunity, a once in a yeah. lifetime experience. Yeah, first to have your first child. So that kind of goes along with our 2018 goal of really enjoying every single day, you know, and mm -hmm. not just enjoying every single day, but being so purposeful. Like I just, ah, it like bugs me so much. Like sometimes I'll sit down in my chair or the couch and I'll just start thumbing around without purpose. And all of a sudden I'll look down and 30 minutes has went by and all I've done was scroll through Facebook. Mm -hmm. Facebook is not evil or Twitter or Instagram or YouTube. It's not but when I'm using it purposefully, like if I'm going to check, oh, I want to check and see like on people that I'm following on Instagram or I want to put some content out or like I have a purpose, right? But like, so making every day the best day ever by living purposefully, mm -hmm. making choices about how I'm going to spend my time and then executing on that choice, especially now that we, like, while Lincoln is not here yet, we're going to focus on enjoying doing the things that we might not get to do in five months. Five months away. So we were just kind of really focus on doing, like enjoying the things that we could, sleeping through the night, you know. You know, things thing. like that, you know, leaving the house. But I, but so I kind of implore you to do the same. Focus on the little, well, not being pregnant, but focus. You can if you want. Focusing on the little things, the things that make you happy, things that you can do, and focus on being grateful every single day for the little things, and really just appreciate and being purposeful. So, question of the day. What are some things that you do mindfully? Things that you can do mindfully to get you sort of in that mindset, like meditating or cleaning. Mm -hmm. What are some things that you do? Thanks for watching today's vlog. We'll see you tomorrow. Find your gift. Share it with the world. And remember, you are worth it. See you tomorrow. <laughs>